What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. It's been a while since I've just done a sit down talk with you and I think you guys are really gonna like this video. Um, I posted on Twitter the other day and it was probably the most retweeted, liked tweet I've ever had. Maybe that isn't saying much, I don't have a huge Twitter following, but I put a post on there, I put it on Instagram, and I have gotten so much feedback on it that I wanted to have a discussion about this on the YouTube to talk about it a little bit more in depth. And the tweet that I put up, I'll share with you, it was something to the effect of um, telling someone that they, you know, you look better, thicker, and making comments about people's bodies and just how that can impact us. And my Instagram also spoke about this a little bit and just, I kind of want to just discuss this and before we get into it too in depth, I want to just preface this by saying I'm not saying I'm not guilty of this with being very body focused. I'm not saying my way of thinking is perfect or is right. I'm not saying I don't contribute to this in social media, but what I am doing is just wanting you guys to think about this topic, think about it as I'm talking about it and how maybe things have impacted you in the past or maybe things that you say to others can impact people. With being a very body focused society, there's two things I kind of want to dive into talking about. One is the impact on social media, but more so what gets me passionate about this topic is not thinking about social media. Yes, I realize I'm in fitness, I realize I'm a bikini competitor who's walked on stage half naked asking to be judged for my body, asking for feedback on my body. Regardless of that, in general, we are way too focused on commenting on people's bodies bodies that um, it's just unprovoked sometimes and I think people don't really think about the impact of what they're saying when these types of comments are made. So I think about, for me personally, um, going back to being a child. I'm just going to share with you my own experience. Being a young child, I was extremely petite. I was very, very petite. Um, and my sister did struggle with her weight a little bit. So anytime we saw family members, friends, wherever we went, people were so focused on how tiny I was. So from a young age, I got used to this attention, whether I really acknowledged it at the time is good or bad, but I grew up from a very young age having people always comment on, you're so tiny, you're so cute, you're so petite, how do you stay so small? Just very, very focused comments. And so I think that kind of has, has like shaped me in a way as I grew up always thinking about like being smaller must be better. I don't feel that way anymore. I'm obviously much older now, but just going back to my childhood and thinking about how those comments made me feel, it definitely left me to grow up feeling like it's better to be small, it's better to be tiny, it gives you attention, maybe it means you're better than other people. These were all the kind of feelings that I associated with that. And Obviously, everyone's gonna interpret things and handle things differently. I can just speak from my own experiences and what other people have shared with me, but that's just one piece of things. Growing up, I really feel like you need to be careful what you're saying to the young generation. You know, the younger generation is so um, easily influenced by other people's thoughts and opinions, and if you're you know, for those of you with children, I can't speak to that, but I'm sure you're mindful of how people speak to your children in terms of their body shape and size. And I do, in a way, feel like it's something we shouldn't comment on, at least not as frequently, and especially be careful with how we're going about saying it. So the flip side of things is as a medical professional, as a registered dietitian, there is some onus on me as a medical professional to address health-related issues with people, right? So I'm not saying we can't ever comment on people's bodies or health, but I think there's a time and a place for it. So if someone comes to me for help, um, then that is a time to maybe sit down and discuss their BMI or their weight status and things of that nature. And I'm sorry this video is going to be all over the place, but I just have a lot of like thoughts and feelings on this. So there is a time and a place. I'm not saying 
it's possible to never comment on someone's body. I do think that's impossible. But what I am saying is just think about how frequently you're commenting on people's bodies. And if that's the first thing you're saying to someone when you see them, if you're going to meet a friend who you haven't seen in a long time, is the first thing you're commenting to them about their body shape or size. I think that's something we need to get away from a little bit. Unless someone's saying, hey girl, like I just lost 15 pounds, I'm feeling great, then support them. Hell yeah, they're obviously looking for you to support them in that. But if you haven't seen me in two months and the first thing you say to me is, you look so much healthier, thicker, I don't necessarily take that as a compliment, which, you know, leads me into another area of things. You know, some people commented to me on my post, why would anyone be upset if you're giving them compliments on your body? Well, what is a compliment to you may not necessarily be a compliment to me. And I just have never appreciated the word thick, even though I feel like people aren't meaning to mean it in a negative way. People are meaning it in a complimentary way, um, probably because I grew up being told I was so tiny forever. Thick to me has a negative connotation to it. So maybe that's my own demons I have to battle, but I personally don't take that as a compliment when people say that to me. I don't like the way that sounds. I would just rather someone not say anything about my body size. Some of the comments too were like, well, you can't sit here and play play victim or you can't have it all. You're someone that posts your body on social media. You're gonna get comments on it. And I get, I get that if I'm posting a bikini pic and talking about my body, that definitely does invite the conversation to make comments on my body. You are putting yourself out there. You are gonna receive that feedback. So I understand that. At the same time, I wish people would use a little, just caution when you're commenting on people's physiques. If, even if they are inviting it, use caution with what you say and how you say it because you never know what someone's struggling with. You never know their background. There's so many people that have struggled with, with body dysmorphia and body image and self-esteem and I honestly feel like a lot of women struggle with that more than people realize and maybe men not as much. Um, but I think both people do struggle with it. So just be careful with what you're saying and how you're saying it. And think about if when you're going through social media or watching YouTube videos as well, um, to go into the social media side of things, is everything you're commenting on on social media specific to someone's body? Is it booty goals, delt goals, um, you look too thick or you look so much healthier now? Or is it is it always focusing on someone's body? Because I want to believe that we all want to hear good things about us. We like positive feedback, but we also don't want to only hear good things about our body. Um, someone wrote me a message that that I thought made a lot of sense too. You know, in terms of like say show prep, or you lose a lot of weight and you get really cut and dialed in and everyone's commenting on how crazy shredded and how great you look, this, that, and the other thing. And then you gain those 15 pounds of healthy weight back and all of a sudden no one's commenting on your body anymore. It could make you think, well, am I hideous now? Or, you know, there's so many different ways you can go with this. There's so many different ways you can think about this. And I don't mean to sound like I'm being overly sensitive because I do think some people get butt hurt too easily in today's day and age with how we respond to people. But I would say just, I advise you to think about how frequently you're commenting on other people's body types, whether it's social media or in person. Um, you know, I think too about when I was losing weight for my show, um, the last time I competed, it was really hard for me because I kept getting people at work saying stuff to me about how I looked too skinny, how I needed to eat more, um, I looked emaciated, it was gross. These were comments being thrown at me that I didn't ask for. I wasn't showing up to work in a bikini. Just because I compete doesn't mean I'm a walking bulletin saying please give me your feedback on whether you approve of my body right now or not or my food choices and those you know obviously it comes down to having enough confidence 
and self-esteem to know that whatever it is you're doing or how you view your body is good enough and who cares about what other people think. You know, a lot of it does come down to our own internal self, how we view ourselves. But at the same time, I just think people don't ever stop and think what they're saying to someone and how it could impact them. And, you know, think twice before you blurt out those comments, especially if you're someone that doesn't know someone else's background. You know, maybe maybe I'm someone that struggled with an eating disorder and you're telling me I look gross and sick and you just don't know how that is going to impact someone. So are those comments really necessary? Are they helpful? Are they coming from a place of true concern and wanting to help someone? Or are those comments just someone not being happy with themselves and projecting it onto you, right? Because a lot of times that's what we do when we're, when we make these comments about other people, it's, it usually reflects a way that we're feeling about ourselves, you know? So I'm definitely guilty of commenting on social media, especially when I'm scrolling through and I follow a lot of fitness people, I follow a lot of competitors, and I do comment like, yes, girl, you're shredding up or you're looking lean, you know, people that are in show prep who are leaning out. Are those comments helpful and necessary? I mean, you know, I try not to only make comments about people's body and at the same time, like, I think there is a time and a place for it where people are wanting you to to give them that encouragement and that feedback. But if all you're doing is looking at social media and wishing you had other people's bodies and constantly complimenting other people on their body, I guess just take a step back and ask yourself why you might be doing that, why you might be so focused on everyone else's body, if it's because you're unhappy with yourself or not. I guess the other thing I think about too is uh, do I contribute to the problem of a body focused society and social media? Because I do randomly post body pics, I guess. I mean, I don't really post a lot of bikini pics. And even when I was in prep, I tried not to like only post pictures of like my body and bikini pics. Even though those obviously get the mo most likes, I just wanna represent more than that, more than just a body. I don't want people to look at me and be like body goals. Um, I obviously wanna help motivate and inspire people, but I wanna help people move away from the body obsession and wishing they had other people's bodies because I struggled with that so much growing up. And it's still something that it's taken me a long time to really feel like I can love and appreciate my body. Um, and it's it's hard when you've grown up not doing that so much and being so focused on a weight and a body. You know, whether or not I contribute to the issue, I don't know. I guess that's up for discussion, what you guys think with what you see on social media. It's definitely like a fine line for me. As a professional, you know, going through school as a dietitian, that is one of the things that one of my professors said that really, you know, I kind of believed in was there's no need to be commenting on people's body. Like find other ways to compliment people. You know, sometimes I post a picture or, you know, I'm not looking for you to give me feedback on how my body looks right now. Like if you want to tell me my hair is pretty or you like my earrings or, you know, I seem to be smiling a lot or you think I'm very well spoken. I just think there's so many other ways that we can compliment people other than their body. And your body is going to change over time. Your, your looks are going to fade over time. You're going to wrinkle up as you get older. All these physical things are going to change as you age. Certainly there's things you can do to prevent it, but, you know, and if you're so focused on, on your looks and only being a certain body type and body weight, it, you are going to have no self-esteem by the time you're you're, I don't know, 30, 40, because looks and all those things can go away very quickly. And I think it's better to be valued as more than just that. Sure, we wanna be healthy and look good and feel good, but let's think about complimenting people on other areas and just not make that the first thing you say to someone when you see them, I guess are my biggest things to you guys, is just think about how you're complimenting people when you're 
commenting on people's bodies if it's if it's necessary if it's being asked for and you know you may look at someone and I had a ton of people message me about this that you know people say some pretty hurtful stuff you know people tell people that they're sick and they need to eat a hamburger and you know so maybe someone does have an eating disorder do you think that's helpful at all probably not if anything that's gonna probably trigger them to, to eat less so or telling people they look manly because of the amount of muscle they have or you know a lot of times we give these opinions and we all have them and they're not helpful they're not necessary so if you don't have anything nice to say then don't say anything at all just like your parents told you growing up it's it's not putting any good into the world so just think before you speak and i think with social media we just have kind of disconnected from filtering ourselves and and with that people now don't even know how to talk to people face to face anymore and have real deep conversation so I don't know guys this is a lot of rambling but I feel like I had a lot of different people reach out to me on social media about this topic and I just wanted you guys to start thinking about it I'm not trying to be high and mighty like I'm better than anyone I comment on people's bodies too I'm guilty of it I just want people to think about it differently with how frequently you're focusing on it and just be more mindful of it and let's just be more positive in other areas of our lives so i'd love to know what you guys think about this topic if you agree with anything i said disagree it's all good i like hearing different sides of things so feel free to comment below and share your experiences and let me know if this was helpful at all for you to think about um, i know some people commented that they also hadn't even thought about this before on how frequently they were making body comments. Let me know below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll see you in the next one.